we're on our way to go check out a 1970 Subaru Sambar pickup. And this thing is out here in the middle of nowhere. We're like super remote out here, climbing up this mountain. And uh, supposedly there's a little pickup micro van uh, out here in the woods. So once we get closer, we will bring you guys back. Did, did somebody here own it or? or? No, so uh, my dad owned a, a gas station in Southwest Portland for 30 years. Yeah. And he bought this in the 70s. Oh, and okay. I remember sitting on the track. Okay, that's fine. Sure. Anyway, wow, this thing is small. Yeah. He lives a couple, uh, lives a couple miles from work. So he would drive it to and from work. Really? And then, you know. Then he just, he kept it, and he pulled it out for special occasions, and they had about a half acre lot that the gas station was on, and every once in a while, when he wasn't driving it, he just started up and drive around the lot, but then he just stopped, and so, um, he ended up, he passed away, he went to the hospital, he passed, passed away 24 hours later, and then he tried to keep the business, and the oil company said he couldn't, and then... Um, little lawsuit. There was yeah. an oil company. Jeez. They gave us three days to get out, and we just had to pull everything out. Okay. So he had a uh, '56 Chevy truck, a '58 Buick, and like a 1917 Buick, and they just pulled everything out. And that was about five years ago. And it's been sitting here since. Yeah. Oh, Anything about this? I don't. I've um, I kind of just looked it up online, but there's not much. Doesn't seem like there's a ton of info on them. I worked at the gas station for six months after my dad passed away, and people are like, hey, what am I to do? What am I <laughs> And that That's door okay. should open up. Okay. Yeah. Um, Try to open it up. And um, some people say, oh, yeah, you can do electrical conversions with them and everything. That's the one guy kept coming in and talking to me about. So. Right. Well, doesn't take much to push it. Probably. No, yeah, we can push this up and down our driveway and then. <laughs> this is kind of fun here. Then, you know, this is like a Corvette little, truck, yeah, you know, where you side. It, some lawnmowers and stuff like that, and you okay. know, earn money over the years. So, yeah, you got this thing going, <laughs> and you started. I don't know if you saw what they were for online, but they go for ten. Oh, wow. Ten thousand. Uh, you know, maybe more depending on what they do on. I've been told the engines are simple to work on. Um, there are some, there's some guy emailed me from, I think he was in Kansas City, where he said his dad's a car hauler, and he said, you know, I'm, I've been involved in a 360 club and been looking for one for a while. Is so it called the 360? Club. Is that what it is? There's, uh, some people call them the Sandbar, okay. and then some people call them 360. They made a van, basically, that was like this as well. Probably just the exact same thing, except for just... Yeah. doesn't have a bed, yeah. 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 And there's one in Portland, uh, 360 Club in Portland. They get together and... I don't know with COVID if they were they were still doing it, but that's where I've seen... Is this is a bit dent in the front. Is it, is, can you push it off from the inside, or do you know? Is, is, it, is there anything? Oh, no. Yeah, I would think... There's not much there. You're going to just push that out. Um, yeah, I think you can just hammer it out. Oh, yeah. It does have, like, some rust. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
I mean, we're not restoration guys. So I think this would be try to get it running and just put it around the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, that's, I, I was thinking what Todd that lives here, he's restored, or had several cars restored. He's like, I like the patina. He yeah, said, just right. clear coat it, get it running. That's and, that's probably what I would do. Try to you need to clear coat it. Well, get some well, get some cool wheels on it. I think I kind of like these little hubcap tires and wheels. I don't know if you could lower it. Does it have like the? Is there like a back that it's there supposed to have? Be, but I've somebody just, is somebody took it. Was it at the gas station? Okay. That's uh. Yeah, I don't even know how you check if those. How about oil? Does it does it is there an oil stick somewhere? I believe that it's a mixture. I think it's a three-stroke engine. Oh really? Oh, yeah, okay. so you do the mixture okay. of gas and oil. The other guy that came was spinning that wheel there. That one? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what like the alternator or generator or something. Yeah, he said the like, he said the pistons he got some when he re rebuilt. He has another one of these, he rebuilt it. He said, I got the Yamaha 600, I think, and that's where he got the pistons from. Pistons and rings, they just rebuilt it for the same thing for two years. Hmm. And that's the cost of selling at Yamaha. What, uh, where is the engine at, you know? It's right there. Just that, oh, okay, right there. Two jugs. Picked it. These guys picked it up and moved it. Oh, yeah, really? They couldn't find the car. Wow. Yeah, I think it's just sweet that it has like this little bed in it. It's not much of a bed, but <laughs> could stick a little mini bike could you, back could there. Could you stick a uh, scooter or something in there? Or? Probably. Or is it too, is it too small? Maybe? Could probably stick a little mini bike in the back. Yeah, uh, when your dad was driving it, I mean, does it, how fast did it go? Do you have any ideas? Is it just a kind of a local? Yeah, I mean, like I said, he was driving to, about two miles to from work, and... City uh, driving? Or no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I think the speedometer, I don't know what the speedometer is, so... It says 80. 80, <laughs> but I'm, I'm thinking 45, maybe. And it's a three-cylinder, is that what you said? I think so. I think it's a two or three, two or three stroke. Four speed, it says. And no key, I assume? No, I've got the key. Oh, okay. Does it have a title? or? Yep, got okay. the title. Okay. Oh, that's kind of fun. It just pops like that. Yeah, it says. Out. And you can remove it, too. Oh. I think it's just that it... Doesn't seem it's rusty, but I don't think it's rusted off. Now, did you say tell you something about it? It won't it won't run because it's locked up. Yeah. So when we lost the station, Todd and Barb came out and looked at it. They know more vehicles, more vehicles about than me, and more about vehicles than me. And then my dad from the gas station never really taught me about cars. <laughs> right. They said I. They said we're pretty sure the. Um, the back wheels are locked up because you just and you just need to drain the brake line, and that should free it up. Oh, what about uh, They would just take the um, tractor, okay. and when they moved it before, we just put it on the back, lift 
the rear wheels and then back it out. And then you just have to, when we brought it out, they had a flatbed and we, we had a winch and we just winched it off the flatbed. Hmm. But I would not, you'd want to, if you, if, you if you had a tow truck or you've got somebody with a flatbed trailer, that's what I'd recommend. I've actually seen photos of these in the back yeah. beds yeah. of trucks as well. Um, we don't we don't have a truck or a or a trailer. We'd but... have to hire yeah, maybe a U-Haul trailer or something. But um, that's definitely my recommendation. Not a truck. We had one come out one time, and uh, they they thought I said suburban, and they brought this huge big tow truck out. And I was like. Like, are you joking? I said, no, there, it's right there. <laughs> they, said, they said it's suburban. I'm like, well, it's a Subaru. <laughs> and when they put the bar on it, you could see it resting on the frame. And I said, no, it's not going to work. Mm. So uh, they, Todd and Bart just moved it back into the, this space here. It's pretty fun, but it's a big project. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I think... And like getting parts for it, like I don't know. I try to look up like to see if anybody makes parts and. Yeah. I've seen like the. Uh, I think it's called a 360. I can look it up on my phone. Was it a Was it originally uh, yellow or was it? Is this? I believe it was yellow. Okay. It's a fun. It's a. I think it's a fun. It's a fun green. Yeah. It's like green with the yellow coming through, kind of. It'd be cooler if it was original paint. It, 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 it looks original. I mean, you know, it gives that vibe of original paint. Just out of curiosity, these other guys make an offer, or what? What, what are you thinking on, on the price? He's gonna he's gonna call me back this evening. Um, you know, I'm flexible on price. It's been a while since I've seen it. Um, so uh, just you know, I'm a little flexible there. Um, I'm just thinking, I if we bring this thing home and mom <laughs> says, "What in the hell is this?" Uh, the, I no, I I love it, but. It's just like if I'm not gonna be able to get it running, then I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do. Yeah, you could you could sell it like the guy. He's like, well, I might use it for parts, but I might not be able to restore it. But you could. You could try to get it going. I wonder if this engine drops out or what the heck. Like this door is like pretty rough. Like it's almost like it's, it's rough. I mean, I mean, again, I mean, like it's almost coming off. I think it rested like and split it almost. Yeah, I'm just saying like the bottom of the door is like off. But I mean, it's. I just like to get it running and try to make it around the block. <laughs> and the front's so cool on it. I like the front. Probably where you put the oil.
But he's got summer, so we need to get him a project. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, we're still in that hole. That's going to be a short one and a half mile. Yep. Drive to the front. Just up. zip up. Imagine if I drove this thing to college. Fixed up a couple of Honda CT70s uh, over the last couple summers. So okay. He's He's been getting into engines and stuff. And this, even though it's a strange engine, at least it's a small engine, I guess. Yeah. Anything you put into it. I would imagine you're going to get out of it because of the rarity of the vehicle. Um, and there's just not that many of them out there. Um, yeah, I like it. I just don't really want to spend a ton of money on it. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to like lowball you, but like, would you take a thousand or? I wouldn't take a thousand for it. Okay. Yeah, it's just, it kind of just scares me that because it is rare, you know, that there is a good side and a bad side to that, you know, because yeah. if I'm not going to be able to find parts, you know, then I don't know if I'm going to, I guess you just have to engine swap it at that point. Yeah, you can do something, engine but... swap or the electrical conversion. But that's, that's a valid point. I mean, but yeah, I love, I love how small it is and what it looks like and everything. It's just yeah. there are the group online. I would do fifteen hundred if you want to do fifteen hundred, and I'll call the you know. I'm not going to worry about what the other, the other yeah. guy calls it down to 15 offer. I'll just say it's already sold at 15. Probably safe at 15. I don't know. <laughs> and then if he says, I'll give you 17, I'll, so, I'll say, <laughs> Oh, jeez. Lift it up so the wheels are off. Just oh, and then he's gonna back it and out. And then they'll just back it oh, out. I see. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> were you gonna do fifteen hundred? I don't know if you're doing fifteen hundred. Well, I guess you said that I'm doing fifteen hundred. No, you said it'd take fifteen hundred. You got to decide if you want. Uh, to. You think I should buy it for fifteen hundred? Dude, I'm not. I'm, I'm not spending your money because I don't want to get burned. Oh. Uh, 